Hey, I'm Guy. I'm John. It's our YouTube channel. Subscribe to this channel. Give this video a like. And check out the podcast below in the description. Uh, really devastating scene. I, You know, the day Alex Smith comes back, we watch Dak go down with a nasty injury, compound ankle. Uh, we're recording this on Sunday night. He's getting surgery Sunday night. Hey, the the scene going off. I mean, they they have stayed, they have fans in Dallas, which made that even more emotional, right? And it was really probably the perfect storm for an emotional scene because you had, you know, Romo's there. There's fans. It's a home game. Uh, Jason Garrett's there. It was. I get chills just thinking about it again. It was really it was de- devastating injury to see it like that. Yeah, I think anytime you look and see a guy with his ankle. At first, I kind of hoped it was a shoe, but then the way he pointed, because I, I I wasn't watching it live. I kind of came to probably 20 seconds in with him lying there. Yeah. And once you look at the shoe and then you realize that when you see a, a player, you know, his teammate w- with their hands on their head, you knew it was bad right away. You know, I he had been one of the most polarizing players in the league, right? Should they pay him? Should they not? They ended up franchise tagging him. And now, listen, there's going to be a lot going back and forth. All the former players saying this is why, you know, people fight for their extensions. Everyone understands that. The Cowboys had offered him money, right? Tangible cash. Remember, it was like 100 He wanted 120 It's part of negotiation. But they had offered money. And he took the $30 million. I, I just think the way this all played out, and who knows? Like, I broke an angle. I, I'm going to assume the best. Like, he'll be ready for next year. But I think it's fair to say... Who even knows if the offseason is going to happen with the coronavirus, right? You'd imagine it's still going to be virtual OTAs. That he will be a starting quarterback next year? I mean, does that sound too bullish right now? I mean, he's, last well, time I, he's compound fractures. Yeah, and, look, I, I think for the purposes of this conversation, if we're going to talk about what comes next for Dak, if he can't play football next year, then all bets are off. So I think we have to operate like yeah, he can find his way back. on. I don't I don't know. You don't know? I mean, I, you know, maybe I think it's Stephania fair to say Bell he won't get the – yeah, they, they won't they won't franchise him tag again, right? So that was going to be another thirty plus million dollars. That's probably off the table, more than likely. You'd think, right? You expect him to get franchise tagged? I expect him to just hit free agency, which sucks. Yeah, I mean, but... it's it's to me part of this depends on what does this year look like for the for the Cowboys. Does Andy Dalton take him to the playoffs and they go, you know, we can find someone other than Dak? Um, is there any chance? One thing I wonder is there any chance he signs a contract that they feel good about? Because they're, you know, the one thing we've seen with Dallas repeatedly is is they've done things because of what their doctors have told them, right? Um, the Jalen Smith, Smith did the surgery. I guess Lyle Collins wasn't a doctor situation; that was an investigation situation. But well, yeah, ac- accused of murder that he had nothing to do right, with. They had nothing to do with. But <laughs> another, what I'm saying is like they yeah. they have um, they've found they value trust, like their research based on yeah. their yeah exactly. So it wouldn't. I would not be shocked if. Before he plays another game, he signs a, an extension with the Dallas Cowboys. That wouldn't would that surprise you? Uh, as of right now, I mean, it just said, I don't yeah, know, okay. man. I mean, we have to find out more about the injury. I, I I I think it's fair to say that his I mean, this is not breaking news. His Dallas career playing for the Cowboys. I, I think he's going to play more NFL football because even if he had to miss a year, someone like he would be a great. People would sign him under a multi-year deal, whatever, to get his rights because he is a top 15 NFL quarterback. Whether he was a $120 million guy, we could debate all day. Uh, and I think the argument, if if Goff is worth it, he's worth it. I think that's fair. If like you're going to give Goff money, like if you we gave him that situation, he's equally as good, if not better. Right, but the Cowboys might say we same. don't, we won't, we don't want that situation, right? And my pushback, I always defended the Cowboys. Like, I, I would not have – I don't want to pay that guy that much money. One narrative that's going to grow is, like, he got – you know, this is why you got to get money. He just got $30-plus million. He's made a lot of money off the field for the Cowboys. Like, financially, he's a 1% of the rest of his life. And his football career, unless this is really bad, and maybe we'll find out more information by the time you listen to this, doctors, it probably takes a couple days till they really see. Because remember, when the Alex thing happened – it was a little bit different. I guess it was his leg. This is his ankle. It was his right? leg. Remember his leg. Yeah, it was his leg, and he got an, a, an infection that changed the game, right? Really bad. So I would kind of expect Dak Prescott to not be on the Cowboys anymore. My, that would be my initial reaction when he was carted off. My my thought was that's probably the last time you see him I, in the I Dallas. Wondered. And I also thought there being fans there, 
I, I was kind of glad because they were kind of giving him a standing O. He kind of got to wave. Like, it would have kind of sucked to just have your ankle shattered all alone and be a version of, like, a practice. I'm not saying that situation sucks no matter what getting carted off. I mean, he's in tears. It was just a devastating scene. But at least the fans, everyone's up. People are holding up fours. Like it was, I just thought it was one of the more powerful things I've ever seen on an NFL football field. Yeah. And the, 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 all the connections that I was telling you before the – when we were about to do the podcast, you had Jason Garrett, who's the offensive coordinator for the Giants, who coached Dak his entire career up until this year, who came over to see Mike McCarthy when he's laying there, with Tony Romo, the guy that the Dak replaced calling the game. Like it, That's kind of crazy connections, guy. <laughs> I mean, those two guys in the yeah. building. Yeah, no, it it was. I I um obviously your body suffered a physical trauma. Then there's the emotional trauma of holding your leg while your ankle is sideways. Then there's just the the pain that he's going through. So it's hard to know what he's thinking as he's getting carted off. Does that thought cross his mind? Is this the last time I'm gonna play as a cowboy? I did to your. I did think that as he's getting carted off. Like, is this the last time he's in a cowboy uniform? Um. I just wonder if the best deal that he would ultimately get is in Dallas because they know him and because their doctors can be hands on from the beginning of this thing. That's why. But if they I, were lowballing him when he was healthy, I mean, what? Well, yeah, they, and he might have to take it. But I just, I just wonder if coming off an injury like this, is there part of the player that goes, I don't want to go restart somewhere else either? Like, there's so much unknown. This is where I want to be. Do, do prior? I don't know. But yeah, I, it's if you're going to be a free agent you probably can't get the best deal from Dallas on one hand. On the other hand, you'd say, well, they might, they'll have the best information, which could work against you. But if you're going to be back 100%, it could help you, right? If if the doctors say this is a full recovery, then maybe Dallas feels more comfortable about whatever number they would pay him than any other team would. For what it's worth, I mean, Dalton was 9 of 11 for 111 yards. Remember, it was a pretty big story the Almost moment they a devastating signed Dalton. Interception. Yeah, I, full disclosure, I, I only watched like one pass. Amari and a sack stood there with his destroyed. hands on his hips in disbelief that <laughs> Dalton almost threw a pick six. <laughs> that do you remember the day Dalton was signed? Like that was a pretty big story because they were still trying to figure out like Dak's contract. And people yeah. were like, "Oh my god, are they just going to go with the red rifle and make him a free agent?" This is also though why you always do that type stuff. Like it turns out that Dak was going to be their starting quarterback no matter what, but they have at least an insurance when they put Dalton's stats up. He had over 200 career touchdowns and like 100 picks. Like he actually had been really productive, right? He's not. He's won games in a division that's tough. Listen, he's a flawed player. Is he immediately like? Was he the best backup in the league? I know Foles has won a Super Bowl, but Andy had been a starting quarterback for like on a lot of good teams. I mean, Foles has now he won two games, just one on Thursday night. So I'd probably lean. You'd probably go full, but I. But yeah, you could be no, in you Foles' could category. Yeah, you could argue he Andy. Andy Dalton could make a good case that it's him. Yeah. You know, there's probably, no it's probably right. It's full. When it comes to resume, it's fools. But this is, I, I, I do think best case scenario, Dak, just like, let's just say this. It's going to be a six month recovery, six to nine month. He's going to make a full recovery. Like that's the word by the end of this week. I remember Drew Brees once upon a time hit free agency with injury. A lot of players it doesn't happen as much with quarterbacks. I think that's the one that comes to my mind. Cam this year a little bit, but. It was, not, not he couldn't work out or anything either, right? Yeah, I, 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 I do think there would be some teams interested, guy. I mean, he threw you know 30 I mean? touchdowns last year. He threw the most touchdowns of his career last year. Would you rather have Dak Prescott or Jimmy Garoppolo? You know, we should ask this question once a week for the last two years and see how the – make it grab, plot our – It'd be like a stock da- market. Up yeah, because, uh, you know, uh, this time – You would say Dak – there, You'd like Dak though with Kyle. I mean, that'd probably yeah. There's a point. Good. My point is, there's a point in time when I'd be like, Jimmy, <laughs> come on, don't even ask me that. And now that's not my response. But just something to keep an eye on. Look, the point with Dak is there's a lot. Like he's been a four year starter in the NFL. That's you, when you've started the NFL for four years, you've established a lot, but you also still have a lot that you could become. Right? Four years is not your story written in stone. Whatever was going to come next for Dak was still very much up in the air. We like to decide what a guy is, and then he has to stay in that box, right? But Dak still, there was plenty of time left for him, and if he's healthy, there still is, to become the guy that says, yeah, I, I am worthy of. Because the one thing you would say with, when we talk about Goff, and we both like Goff, but one of his major issues is just a physical limitation, mobility. 
right? Yeah. That's not Dax. In, in, in a league that you got to move. Now, I, I think the question would be, right, one of Dak's greatest strengths was his athleticism. Yeah. He just had a compound fracture. Like, right. is he ever going to be the same? Is he going to be a limited runner? Because just pulling up his career stats, you go, well, obviously, I'm trying to, I can't find his rushing stats, but his. I got him here. What I mean, he, want? 106 touchdowns, 40, 39 career interceptions. Now, in a vacuum, that looks really good, 66%. There have been times when I watched them, I went, eh. you know, is he a guy I'd want to pay yeah. $30 million? Yeah, but, but, you got to be careful. Like, in, in a vacuum, you just look at his numbers, you're like, he's a really good player. But there were games when I watched him against good teams, you went, eh. To I didn't see it. Mobility, and that was when he was fully healthy. How many rushing touchdowns? 24 rushing touchdowns now in four, se- four games, four seasons plus four games. So think about this guy. In four seasons, he has 106 passing touchdowns, another 24 rushing. I mean, he's accounted for 130 touchdowns in – you know, how many games has he played? He, he hasn't missed a start till now. So, 48? My math good? I don't think that adds up. No, 32, 64, <laughs> Whatever, 68. 68? 68? Yeah. 16 times. We're bad at math. 64. Well, I'm counting this so, year. 68. Counting this year. Oh, 68. Gotcha. So, 130 divided by 68. I mean, he's accounting for basically two touchdowns a game, either running or passing. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, but we already knew he was pretty good, right? The question was, could you pay him like he's great? Yeah. Compound fracture, no. Yeah. But I, I but big picture, I don't he's it's not like the guy's thirty seven years old. Like he's not gonna derail saying. his life. He's twenty seven, he's okay. If he comes back, he'll be fine. Does he do does does is there would he do a one year free agency contract with somebody? Basketball style, baseball style, to earn a bigger deal? Kirk Cousins? Basically, the reverse I, franchise. I'm going to franchise tag you as the team. Kind of what, what Cam did. Yeah, what Cam did, but you know, at a better. Did you time say what Cam did? What career. Cam did before Corona hit him was working out pretty well. Would Cam go? Would Dak go to the uh, Patriots? Do the Patriots just become a one stop shop for injured guys that are looking for a How deal? About the Saints. I mean, but I wouldn't, know but James, wouldn't you say? But... Wouldn't you say this though, guy? The Patriots have made a career, not at quarterback, but at other positions of doing that. Just renegade. Just you come here, we win, we change your life, you get paid. Come right. here, change your life, you get paid. Come yep. here, change your life, you get paid. If I'm Dak, I, I'm keeping it. Look at what they're doing with Cam. I, I'm circling that. Absolutely. Right? You want to come for five? We're not going to get you for $500,000. Pay you $3 million with some incentives? Off a broken ankle? I got the Patriots circled, guy. I feel like if he's it'll passing just, physical, just I, I just say if he's passing physicals, he's getting more than three million dollars, though. Okay, whatever the low number is, though. Bill, Bill gets a healthy core because Cam, they didn't know if he was healthy. They take Dak for yeah. seven. I, I feel like if he's passing physicals, he's a free agent. He's gonna be getting double digit. Well, no, I, I got to know more about I the know, injury. All right. right, that's for a later date. 